Hey everyone, this is Annabelle Fig, and today we're going to play some Prison Architect. We are going to start walking through the campaign. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in, the, in time for this guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step is with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door in the south wall. All right, so we're gonna start with foundation. And then we're gonna do some. Oh, he's already calling. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundation and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, Take a look around and use WASD or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. So let's get that door while well, we can do the wall. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's do objects door. Nope. Oh, walls and doors, huh? There we go. Uh oh, there we go. Alright, large jail door. Alright, let's speed this up. Alrighty. Inside the building, I want to sell an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Alright, speed it back up. Now add large jail doors to the divided walls. You can rotate objects before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or R. Um, large. There we go. And again, get it on fast. That's looking good. Now we need to designate rooms within the spaces. Designate a cell with the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. So we have our cell and the execution room. Those new rooms have requirements before they become fully functional. The cell needs a bed and toilet. The execution room requires electric chair. So we got a bed and a toilet, an electric chair, again speed it up. Mm -hmm. 
That's essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though there aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environments. The cell itself could have been improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look a lot better with higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. This is the man in question, Edward Ramsey, a teacher once, you would believe. It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you are satisfied with the, fa the facility is ready, you can bring the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. I knew I'd get you two here. Edward, I don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every volt he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure? Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such a final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd commit his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night knowing he's gone. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functional yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to electric supply. Alrighty. We are now viewing the prison in utility mode, which shows us electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by the, at the substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cell is without power. All the lights are out. To fix the problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode and understand why the lights are without power. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the wing of the prison. Well, let's just uh, go down and 
speed it all up, get these workers done. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power, your electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I did that already. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own designated power line. You need to connect it directly up with the main cables. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds to make sure everything is okay. And power outage. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we do drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build two or three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. All right, so we need a few more capacitors. All right, switch on. Well done, I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Can I help you? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I won't go back. I want to forgive her. I want to forgive me. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It's time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, 
I'm sorry. Thank you everyone for watching the first chapter of Prison Architect. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.